Hi, I'm Alan Redinger, author of Speed Vegan, a collection of recipes that anyone can execute in 30 minutes or less. I'm going to show you a very simple and very delicious dish called tempeh with peanut sauce. Tempeh is a soy product. It's a fermented soy that they make in Indonesia. It comes in a cake. You can slice it. And then what I did in this recipe is fried it in coconut oil and gives it a nice crunch and a nice color. And then you dip it in the peanut sauce. You're going to love this. It's delicious. So I'm going to start by the most complicated part. This is very quick, but you have to understand if you haven't used lemongrass before, one of the ingredients, what it looks like is this when you buy it in the store, but you can't use it all. You have to peel off at least one layer, sometimes two, depending on how fibrous it is. And then you want to make sure you carve away the bottom part of the root so that you can see the, the rings. There we go. If you carve it at a slight angle, it won't roll off the board. Mmm, smell is incredible. All right, we're going to put this in the blender. Next, we're going to cut some ginger. It's important to cut across the grain so that you don't wind up with a lot of fibers. So I'm going to do that quickly. As thinly as possible. All right. Then we're going to put in what will be about a half a cup of cilantro. It starts up as a big pile. I like to chop it up a little bit so that it flows better in the blender. Get it started, so to speak. Still a bit of big pile, but that's all right. It's not rocket science. Then uh, about a cup of coconut milk. A tablespoon of agave nectar. You can use sugar at your own risk. A couple of tablespoons of Sri Racha sauce, which is that chili sauce you see in many store, many restaurants now with a little uh, rooster on it. It's a Vietnamese, Southeast Asian chili sauce made with sugar and chilies and garlic. And then about a yeah, about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I use Celtic salt. And blast. If you have if the mixture is too thick, you might want to add just a little bit of water, not too much, just to get it to flow because you want all those fibrous ingredients to blend thoroughly. There we go. Then put in a cup of, a half a cup or, that's about half a cup of peanuts, roasted peanuts. into a little cup. Is that good? So for a garnish, most people when they see the green, they're not going to know it's a peanut sauce, even though it is. And you'll be able to taste the peanuts. But just to give them a shot of peanut, set their mind up for it. You crumpled peanuts on top. Like that. Tempe. If you're not familiar with it, like I wasn't when I started, uh, this is a fermented soybean product they make in Indonesia and Tennessee, I think. What I'm going to do is carve off the ends, cut some sticks. Nice thin little sticks. 
Now we're going to fry the tempeh sticks. And the best thing to fry in anywhere is coconut oil. It's a hard fat. It will not form trans fats no matter how high you heat it. And it has a fabulous flavor. I used to use clarified butter before I went vegan. And this is just as good and actually better for you. My cholesterol is on the decline now. Once the oil is nice and hot, you can begin putting the tempeh strips in there. That's about the color you're looking for. A little bit of brown, not too much, because you're going to fry the other side as well. You want it to be crisp, but not burned. Okay, once they're nice and brown, take them out and drain them on a towel. Sort of like vegan bacon. Think of it as uh, soybean bellies. Once you have the tepi strips fried up, you can display them nicely with your sauce. Start from this end, if you're going to put too many on there. And then work your way in. Party time! So I hope you've enjoyed watching this. You can get this recipe and many more in my book, Speed Vegan. The beauty of this book is you'll be able to make anything in 30 minutes or less, and it'll be beautiful, it'll be tasty, and even your non-vegan friends will love it. At the best bookstores in town, look for it.